Welcome to Let's Play Grand Bellissimo Quattro stuff. I need a new intro for this, because, you know, yeah. Anyway, we are moving on to the American events for today. And I just want to skim through my garage first and see what all we have, because it's been a while since I've touched this game. I have 224 American cars so far. Jeez. It's uh, quite a lot, just for one country. Uh, first of all, I should probably check what event we are going to be doing. I think it's muscle car competition up to 1980, so good old American muscle. I'm a bug blooded American, you hear? Place freedom, love, and swings, got nothing but root beer. The mug root beer song. All right. What do we have? GT three fifty R, Mercury Coomer, Coomero SS, which I drove this for. Oh wait, no, that's not the right one. Where's the one I drove? This one. I drove this heaping pile in the thousand miles championship a long time ago. Shit, that was like two years ago at this point already freaking insane and I barely made any progress since then but ooh have we used the pink charger I don't know if we've used the pink charger in an episode before I'm not about to skim through everything we're using the pink charger because yeah reasons and I don't know if I'm going to need anything for this, but eh, sport mediums, it should be fine. One thing I am going to be getting for all these old cars is some LSD because of the one wheel peels and stuff. Put some yellow wheels on it. Christ. I don't know about that one, chief. I think that's all I'm going to do to this. Actually, you know what? I lied. Where's it? Oh, it's way back here. It's been a minute since I've touched this game, so bear with me. Definitely putting a transmission on this, because I'm just going to be topping out at like 120 miles an hour. Every second it gets. So muscle car competition, three short races. At New York, Infineon, and Seattle. No Cobra this time. This looks fairly balanced, so we're going to go with this. Oh, now it's loud. That's slower than I had it. Alright, we're going to leave it like that. Because some of these songs are louder than the other ones that I tested the audio on, like, one of the quieter ones, I think. And now I can barely hear the game. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This thing is so quiet, I, like, can't hear it at all. Oh, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. This game had such a good variety of, uh, muscle cars, but a lot of them aren't in GT7 for whatever reason. Yeah, I'll just screw with it later. Game volume's too low. Well thing is right now that this car is actually pretty quiet so it is going to be like a little low or did I not even raise the volume I didn't raise the game volume earlier did I oh shift I can fix this while I'm driving yep I didn't raise the volume up alright that's where I had it 
Now you should be able to hear things properly. And I can focus on driving. What a clown I was, saying I was prepared for this stream, whenever I clearly wasn't. Bam! Perfect. Bam! And I'm already smoking the field. So yeah, chat. What have y'all been up to? I don't really have too much to talk about right now. Need some way to pass the time. Oh. Watched Linus Tech Tips launch. Uh, even they had numerous problems with streams. Oh, I have... Every single time I attempt to stream, I have some sort of random issue, whether it's, like, audio or my PC, like, some background process taking up a lot of bandwidth. Not, that's not the right word. Whatever. Basically, I just run into issues all the time, and it kind of demotivates me from streaming a little bit. That and plus, I can't really perform that well with people watching live. Whereas a YouTube video, I could just... I could drive like trash for four hours straight and only upload the good part. <laughs> now it's just like my... A lot of times whenever I try to stream, there's some weird background process in Task Manager that takes up like a quarter of my GPU's... like... 3D thing. I don't know the terminology for it. I'm not gonna go out of my way to learn everything how that stuff works. But we absolutely crushed that one. I'm probably gonna have to take that transmission off because those long straights, I was just losing everybody. So, on to race number two, which I believe was... Laguna, or Infineon, Hyperbore. It's Infineon, which I actually prefer. Infineon, aka Sonoma, is one of my favorite tracks of all time. And I'd like for it to come to Gran Turismo 7, but I highly doubt that's actually going to happen. Considering, like, there's so many tracks that they could put in the game, but at this rate, GT7 is probably going to get, like, two, maybe three tracks a year, if they actually try, which is kind of bad, and I forgot to take the transmission off, again. Well, that, again, that's like the first time, whatever. My brain doesn't work that well in front of a live audience. Well, Infineon and Sonoma is like the same thing. Well, same track, really, but just different name. Whoa! The grass is deadly right there. I made a list of challenges I can be taken while running GT4 speedruns. Well, I'm not really a speedrunner. If you, if you think, like, I'm probably gonna go for those, which... I don't think I'll ever do a speedrun of any game, to be honest. Because, like, you, you always gotta, f like... You gotta follow some... formula... The, the rules are, like, all over the place, like, can you cut the corners, can you not cut the corners... blah blah. I just like playing games my own way, pretty much.
potato potato. Suzuka has a different name? What do you mean by that? My game seems to be running a little slow. Somehow. Did anyone see what the A spec points were at the beginning of this race? I mean, I've got to find out here in like a minute and a half anyways, but... I am crushing these guys. Without even like trying, really. I'm turning in too early. And just under steering straight off. Nice. It was really a straight 60, that's kind of strange. Oh wow, that was a bad slowdown. Activate GPU pallet conversion. I don't think that made a difference for me last time I tested it. Argentina, nice. I have a few viewers from Argentina. A few viewers from like basically everywhere really, which is kind of crazy. And absolutely crushed it once again. I'm gonna pause I'm gonna pause the music like wherever I'm not driving. Okay, no. That's lovely. So my whenever I like pause the music, my wheel would then like control the application. So I just pressed X and it resumed it, which is kind of funny. Also annoying. So now on to the third and final race already of this event at Seattle. In the stinky pinky. And... Let me just double check. Alright, no Cobra. Nice. I'm gonna take that transmission off. And I am also... Going to... Where to go? There you are. I'm going to take the diff off as well. Because I'm, I'm kind of dominating them. And that's boring. So let's spice it up. This is also a rolling start too. So should be a little bit more interesting. Even though we are we have less B spec, A spec points this time. Christ. <sighs> can't speak. Can't think. Can't function like a normal human. Like always. What's this thing gonna top out at? 115, but it could probably go to 116 or more. This is the muscle car competition. Squeeze past this guy real quick. I think that's a Super B. Looks like it. Oh, music. Ah, hit the wall. Oh, come on. Now my wheel... My paddles are changing the songs. Ugh. Really wish it didn't do that. Oh, hey, it's my 1,000 miles car. The red Camaro. Also, I need to do chase cam like half and half. If only the game didn't slow down so much. Wow, that's a hard slowdown. Just like, look at this. Eee! Crawls to a halt. Whoa. 
You don't see that? I almost freaking bent it right there. AI are still as blind as ever. Everybody says, like, the GT7 AI is pretty bad whenever it comes to, like, pushing you off track and whatnot, but those people have never played GT4. Because I swear to God, these AI don't even know you exist. This is only like a 5,000 pound box of steel with an open diff. Oh, we actually got up to 120. Shocking. You know, I've always wanted to, like, recreate that, uh, the demo race in GT2. You know, the, the race on Seattle, but there's a, uh, I don't remember what car is missing from this game, but I know in GT2 there's a Superbird, a Challenger, a GT350R, and... I don't remember the other ones, but I, I I actually checked one day and I couldn't find like one of the cars in this game. Would have been cool to recreate that. This is way too easy. I I probably should have just got with a Mercury Humor if I wanted like some competition. And just use this for the hot rod competition instead. That's what I really should have done. Is my game in 4K? It is technically in 1440p. Because that's what my monitor is set to. But the internal resolution is 4K. Which it does make a difference, by the way. If, like, say you're playing on, like, a 1080p monitor and you up the internal resolution, it will look a lot better. Even if, like, your resolution's low. Right. Our prize for this event. Ah, there you are. Wow. That is a very dark red or brown. That's probably brown. I was hoping for a more flashy color, but I'll take it. And since we got the Super Bird, we're definitely going to be using that in the next one. So, let's go have a look. Let's have a little look-see here. Burnt Tan Metallic. I would say Sex Machine, but you can barely see it. So, we're going to go ahead and get in it in preparation for... The next events. And with that, stay tuned.